Hi guys, welcome back to Tarantula Tastic Enclosures. Um, if this is the first time you've visited my channel, um, this is where you find tutorials on all of my builds. Um, I'm big into my horror, so I do a lot of horror builds. Um, full tutorials in the past videos. So please check them out. Um, if you just sort of thinking about doing a themed build, there's absolutely hundreds to choose from. I think we're up to I don't know, 100 and odd uploads or whatever. So there's plenty, plenty to uh, get your brain inspired. So yes, if you're new, ring the bell, then uh, uh, you'll get notified of future enclosures coming up. Um, apart from that, this um, Hellraiser build has been a bit fun. Um, I've got some bigger, bigger builds coming up. This is literally a small sort of build, but I think the build actually turned out quite effective. Um, purely because it is, I mean, we read in uh, Friday the 13th one soon, so that will be coming up soon. I've got a tarantula room enclosure to do as well. Bit undecided about that at the minute, but um, that will be the next one being started. Um, apart from that, let's get down to Hellraiser. Right, so here we go. This is how we came to this bit. Now this bit started out a piece of plywood, and now these are all bits of wood cut brick shaped. And then we stuck them on, and then over the top, we went over with tile grout, sort of filling in all the gaps. And then it was dry brushed, grey and white to give it that stone effect. So that's exactly what's done on this one. Now the puzzle box thing itself was a 3D print. This is one half painted, so you can see the sort of original colour was painted black and gone over bits in gold there. These were cheap Halloween skulls that we repainted, stuck onto the back wall, giving it that sort of rock effect as well. I think it's worked quite well. All of it is a, a party ply frame. So, yeah, I'll just sit like that in the enclosure at the back. Now the next bit was the um, cork bark of souls that we're calling it, so... see from that it just was a plain bit of cork bark and what we did we just got many little skulls stuck them all around the whole cork bark was painted black then we stuck the skulls on and that um, spider that you saw in the pictures was um, a cheap Halloween skeleton thing that I just smashed to pieces 
and just stuck them round at random just to show you, sort of make it look mean. Then if you had the chain, which was, I think it was about a pound on eBay, a piece of chain. So now I've sealed all this, which is a good thing about it because it's given it that sort of, sort of shiny effect as well. As you can see, the inside is just plain cork bark. Nothing has been done to the inside. But yeah, I think that looks quite cool and mean. I was going to actually build uh, the Pillar of Souls itself, but to actually do it or make it actually look authentic, um, I thought I'd just do my own variation as it is a tarantula enclosure. Let's just do the cork bark of souls. So I think it's worked quite well, really. All right, now this is a custom aquaria tank, but as it's got the bent on the back and I wanted to build a background, obviously I've removed, it should have a glass um, lid there, but I removed all the silicon, took out that bit there and then made my own top to go on that way I've still got the ventilation plus um, I've got more it basically meant I could build a back wall with still having ventilation that's it's quite a decent sized tank so let's start fitting it all right so this fits in perfectly like that. Okay, if you see that it's still got loads and loads of room there. So what we're gonna do we've got obviously the core park of souls to go in. I've been on and on about this, but we also have a pin head, yeah, which has been mounted on a little pedestal, because obviously half of it would be buried in the substrate, so we made a little pedestal, sealed that wood, so that's sealed with cotton sealer, so it went rot, and that brings him up a tad. Just trying to find a good medium where it actually fit in and I'd still have loads of space in there. But I think that should work quite well. As you see, <laughs> go that. Yeah, I think that should work. Actually, we've still got a load of space in there. I mean, the pokey that's going to go in there is going to be mainly in the cork bolt tube anyway. So we've still got tons of room in there. So I think I might actually go with it. Sort of sets the mood off, doesn't it? start adding substrate and stuff. That's a decent amount of substrate. Let me see, because there's a reflection. Now, what we're gonna do, I've got some Stains that I found outside. And then we put boil and try to pick all the dark ones. Just to give the front. Not 
artistic bit to this. Now, obviously, all the background and everything's been sealed in pond sealer because these pokies like it a bit humid. Um, you need to do it. It protects what you build so it just doesn't fall to pieces or rot. That's looking quite cool in there now. Actually, I've just done it at the front just to give it that effect. But the thing is, with the stones and stuff, when they're damp and stuff, they'll start looking better. But I'm really pleased with that background. I think that looks cool. It's going to be cool once we get it in the display and we've got the light under it as well. Alright, let's play with some pokies. Alright, so what we have in here, Pokotheria Lowland. I chose this one because of the darker colours. And these can always be a little bit flighty, so you catch cup, lid to hand, just in case you have to shut it quickly. What you do is go very, very gently. Shut the lid off, put it in the display, and then let her settle in for a bit. So there we go, guys. Just looking for it, you're awesome in the display enclosure with the light on. She's just down the bottom there. Another one completed. Hi guys, right, thanks for watching as usual. Thank you so much for all your support during this uh, YouTube journey the last year. Um, awesome, I hope you like that one. There's absolutely tons to come, so please stay tuned, hit that bell. Um, apart from that, um, I've got uh, a video coming out this week. I've waited 13 years for this spider, so um, I really, really was excited to get this today. Um, so we're going to do a rehousing on that one. It's not a massive spider, but it is something that I've been waiting for so long and has eluded me, but it's finally in the tarantula testic enclosures, um, collection. Um, really excited about that. Uh, it's not a massive spider, so it's due a rehouse, but so glad we got it in. You'll know when the video is out this week, so hit that bell. <laughs> Apart from that... Thank you very much for watching. As usual, comment down below. I love the comments. Um, it spares me on. Um, I'll try to answer every single one of them. Thumbs it up. Everybody likes a thumbs up. 
ring the bell, boom, 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 gets you notified of every, every video that's coming up. Doesn't cost you a penny, but it means a lot to me. And apart from that, I shall see you later.